The man who took the lives of three young siblings and their grandfather while drunk behind the wheel has been granted full parole. Marco Muzzo was sentenced to 10 years behind bars for the deadly 2015 crash in Vaughan. But just over five years later, he's about to resume his life. Karen Lieberman is live in our newsroom. And Karen, obviously a crushing disappointment for the Neville Lakes who lost their entire family. Alan and Farah, that is exactly how Jennifer Neville Lake told me she's feeling today, disappointed. She said she just wishes her children could go home. Five and a half years since drunk driver Marco Muzo killed three young children and their grandfather, he has been granted full parole. Who likes to know they killed four people unintentionally? Marco Muzo told the two-member parole board panel, something that could have been easily prevented. Muzo is now 34 years old. Conditions of his release include avoiding the victims of the crash, not consuming any alcohol, and not to visit Brampton or York Region. My heart bleeds every day, he said at the virtual hearing from behind a mask and face shield. At the time of the deadly crash on September 27, 2015, Muzzo had been arriving home from Toronto's Pearson International Airport after his bachelor party in Miami. A toxicologist discovered he had a blood alcohol level nearly three times the legal limit. Muzzo blew through a stop sign and T-boned the Neville Lake minivan, killing nine-year-old Daniel, his five-year-old brother Harrison, their two-year-old sister Millie, and the children's 65-year-old grandfather, Gary Neville. The children's grandmother and great-grandmother were also seriously injured. I wake up every day crying. I miss hugging my children and I miss hearing their laughter and voices in our home. Without my children, I feel like an empty shell, said their father, Ed Lake. Muzo was sentenced to 10 years behind bars after pleading guilty to four counts of impaired driving causing death and two counts of impaired driving causing bodily harm. Marco Muzo received a, a very significant sentence. In fact, he received the longest jail sentence of anyone charged with drinking and driving causing death in Canada. And so uh, as part of any jail sentence, as an opportunity to apply for parole, uh, to apply for early parole. The children's mother, who also lost her father and revealed she miscarried right after the crash, said in an emotional victim impact statement, the mental health issues stemming from the enormous losses I've suffered are all immensely encompassing. Last week on what would have been her eldest son's 15th birthday, Jennifer Neville Lake told Global News. See, the world is so different in that there's, you know, it, it, it's so hard to wrap my mind around the fact that they're all gone. So in a way, for me, it's a lot like they're just out with my dad, you know, getting ice cream. Even years later, Karen, it is just unimaginable and so difficult to hear what she's saying. And it seems unusual for the parole board to place the condition uh, for an offender not to visit an entire region. So what's behind that? Definitely surprising, Farah. But as criminal defense lawyer Daniel Brown explained, the parole board members are likely thinking they want to ensure Marco Muzo has no contact with his victim's family and ensure the family is protected. And as Jennifer Neville Lake told me today, it does provide some sense of relief so she can go to the places she used to bring her children without worrying about seeing their killer. All right, Karen Lieberman, thank you.